Here is my 3723 premium box fan. Yes, it's the return of the premium box fan with the modern logo. The only problem is Lasko must have been having a bad day when they made this one because they ended up putting a stinking weather shield handle on it instead of the plane handle that should have been on it all along. And if you look, you can see it right there. That's the weather shield with the weather shield logo. Thankfully, I still have the weather shield box fan where I can take that handle off. It's brand new and put it on the weather shield one. And I bought a plane handle for the weather shield at the time because that handle on the weather shield at the time broke, snapped in half. So I'm going to take that plain one and put it on this one because that's where it should be. This one originally came with a plain handle that didn't have, and there we go with the tripod getting ready to fall over. What a freak show. That didn't have the uh, weather shield logo. And then when I got the box, on the box, it said, the model number said 3720-3723. What kind of mess on that? How are you going to give a fan two model numbers? 3720, 3723. No, it's the 3723. The problem is y'all put the wrong stinking handle on there. And then when I try to look for the model number on the chassis, it's nowhere to be found on the chassis. It's not on the chassis anywhere. What a freak show. Last one must have had a bad day, but I'm glad they brought it back. But dang, they can't seem to get nothing right anymore. Can't make blades right. Don't even know how to put model numbers on there anymore. Putting wrong handles on the wrong fans, almost like they don't care, which they don't for the most part. So anyways, I'm eventually do that so that it can look right and have the right handle. Let's go ahead and run this. That is back. Let's run it. The second of video, I'm just running it at full power or high speed. It's going on 1 o'clock and I'm about ready to go to bed. I've had a long day today. All right, that's good enough. Glad they brought it back. So it was only gone for a short time, and then they brought it out of retirement, and they brought it back. Now, the only way you can get this on Amazon is if you get it under the 3720 Weather Shield. I know, right? And you know what they're doing? They're actually showing the actual Weather Shield with the Weather Shield logo. But when you buy the fan, thinking you're getting the Weather Shield... You're actually getting the premium. What kind of mess is that? Now, you can't blame uh, Amazon for that because Amazon don't know. They're just getting the shipment in from, you know, Lasco. They're not allowed to go through all of those boxes and say, oh, wait a minute, that's the premium. That's not the that's not the weather shield. We're, we're being deceived here. That's not the weather shield. All they do is they put the things in. It's labeled under what they label under, and then people end up getting the, weather, the premium. Instead of the weather shield. But I'll be honest. All these fans are basically weather shields. They're all the same. The premium. The power plus. The pro power. The weather shield. Okay. And any other ones out there that, is, that use the same type of fan. Just rebranded with all kind of Lasco names that Lasco puts on there. They're all the same fan. They're a weather shield. They're all the same. It has the same motor. The same blade. The same handle. The same chassis, the same guards, they're all the same. So anyways, thanks for watching. More to come soon. I'm out the fan man out. Here is my 16-inch commercial cool high-velocity fan. The blades look very similar to that of a Lasco box fan. They have that design. It's quite powerful. Let's go ahead and run it. For the sake of the video, I'm only going to run it on high speed. This one's quite powerful. I got this about two or three years ago uh, for the window. And I haven't used it in the window since because now I've been using box fans. That's not to say I won't use it in the window again. I will. It's a decent fan. It's quite powerful. And I'm content with it. They still sell these today on Amazon. Unfortunately, I'm not able to film videos for super long periods of time like I used to. 
So due to what the family is going through, you guys know what we're going through. Spin down. Do hope that you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, share, love, like. More fan videos will come soon. Lamont the Fan Man and out. Thanks for watching. Alright, let's film this piece of junk right here. This is the uh, the Holmes 20 inch box fan. The only thing that's junk about it is the chassis. Chassis is garbage. The grills are somewhat okay. I mean, the airflow flows through the grills. The blade does move a lot of air. And it's the brace blade. They try to mimic Lakewood. And it even has a stinking boombox cord. So it's basically a Lakewood design that Holmes tried to mimic, just like Aerospeed. So let's go ahead and run this junk on high speed real quick. And here we go. You're not going to hear the wind stream, so don't worry about it. Just try to enjoy the video the best you can. It's not on its feet. It's not going to fall over. Everything ain't that damn strong. Try to enjoy the video. All right, spin down. Let's go ahead and spin this piece of junk down. I will give it that. It actually does move quite a bit of air. It's just that it's just a cheaply made box fan. It does have the open bearing, just like Lakewood used to do on their motors. I'll give it that also. But it should have did a better job on the chassis. All right, well, there's that. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Lamont the Pan Man out. It's powerful. It's running on low. And this one is running on low also. Trio. Running two fans over here at the computer center. Thanks for watching. Lamont the fan man and out. Brand new fan out the box. Just got it today from Walmart. They deliver it. The motor is sort of weak because they're using these new weaker capacitors and it has a square motor. The blade is absolutely 100% terribly out of balance. Even though I have the feet on here, it still scoots across the table when I try to run it on high speed, given that it's not all that powerful on high speed, more like medium with this newer capacitor, although it was made the fifth month of 2023, going into 2024. Um, the earlier ones was from 3 2023, 2024, if that means anything to you as far as the months are concerned. But the bottom line is, this thinking blade on this particular one is absolutely deplorable. It's abysmal. It's out of balance. It's awful. It's terrible. It's shaking all over the place and scooting all over the table. So now I'm going to have to go to the Lasco Parts website and reorder the blade to this again. Hoping that that one is not out of balance. That it's a good one. Nobody should have to do that when you get a brand new product. Now I know that Lasco don't make nothing right anymore. And all their stinking blades are out of balance. They don't have good days at all when they make blades, but every now and then you'll come across a good blade that's decently balanced. So now I got to go and try to get that just so I can try to use this on high speed since it's not all that powerful. High speed on this one is more like a medium. And then medium is like quiet and low speed is quieter because of the newer capacitor they put in here now. My, my thing is the reason why they're trying to make it quieter which is somewhat weaker. It's probably because people are complaining about how loud it is. That aside, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and try to wear the sand blade for it. Exact same one. Hoping that it's better. It's ridiculous. Right out the box and I got to come out of my pocket and get a stinking fan blade for it. Exact same one. Hoping that it's somewhat more balanced than this one. Now, I don't look, I don't count on it being 100% balanced. That's never going to happen. 
I only got one Nasco fan blade like that. That actually that that came 100% well balanced, and it's in my Aerospeed box fan. So they must have had a good day on that particular one. I'm not saying the whole fleet of those was 100% balanced, but apparently on that particular one that I have in there now, they must have had a good day on that. So I'm hoping I come across another rare moment like that with this one, but there's no real guarantee at all. So now I gotta come out of my pocket and try to get that. All right. Well, anyways, there's that. So I can use no medium. I can use no low. It won't screw too bad. But that's about it. In order for me to use no high, I gotta at least have a blade replacement. I'm out the fan man out. After all this time, these lights up here finally burnt out. They've been running for I don't know how long. For years. I think these lights been running nonstop since 2021. So 2021, 22, 23, and now 24. They finally burnt out. These lights have lived a long life and lasted a long time. But now it's time to get them changed out. We'll do that soon. Thanks for watching. The month the fan man. More to come soon and out.